Hey everyone, um, this is me again. I'm trying to restore a circular LED ring ceiling light. Um, it had a failure, which is related to uh, this part. Um, it has a fuse, which is cute, but that doesn't do a whole lot. Um, when you can see I've uh, lifted this capacitor up uh, from the uh, circuit board. And if you look a bit closer, and I don't think it can focus that close, you see that there's actually a, a hole in the IC, which is a basic LED driver uh, from looking at the datasheet. Um, yeah, what happens is that basically there's a 300 volts DC uh, across this part, and yeah, this capacitor is, I believe... Fifty volts. Well, good luck with that. So yeah, that doesn't work. So, but you see, it's cute. It's round, just like the ceiling light. Um, I didn't find any, and this is a rather peculiar LED driver um, that it, it's for driving twenty-four LEDs in series, twenty-four uh, RS basically. Um, that means you're driving something around eighty to ninety volts. Okay, I believe you. Then we have this incredible quality solder job. You can see the screws are stripped out and it's not yet just this one, it's this one as well. And oh, look at that welding. That's not soldering, that's welding. Um, the pattern continues, continues. Hold on, what's this? Uh, yes, one of the solder islands came from the uh, aluminium PCB uh, for heating pur purposes, probably. Um, uh, the miners came off, so I had to connect those um, in a somewhat roundabout fashion. A little piece of wire that works. I'm glad that there's just an extra island I could use. You can see it's basically the same uh, design of PCB uh, as the one the original wiring came through, so those are just connected to the plus and the minus. Um, what's really hard to make out is that if you look here, you see a small shadow on the PCB. So basically this means the whole ring is four sections of 24 LEDs each. Is that right? No, three sections of 24 LEDs each. So it's basically a, a 3P24S. If you like the lithium polymer battery styling uh, notation. So we have a new one. Which is nice for all of 5 euros. But I actually got two for the price of 5 euros. So what I've done, I've uh, attached a piece of normal 0.75 wiring. I've attached a new plus and minus wiring um, with some shrink wrap. Um, Fun fact, it normally uh, does the PCB inside of the ring, so I've now marked the plus and the minus, and the plus and the minus on the back of this connector, careful, 100 volts, uh, other side, of course, plus and minus, there you go. The maximum voltage, somewhere around 106 volts DC. Um, that's about right. It's open voltage now because it's not driving any current. It should be somewhere around 240 milliamps. Um, so yeah, let's try it out. There we are again. It's now connected with the plus and the minus. Let's hope for fire! Holy Moses, that's a lot of light. It works again! Cheers! Ah, that's better. That means we have a ceiling light for the first time in the kitchen for about two months yeah the shipping from China isn't really very fast but it'll do